Yeah, it's going to be typical. It's going to be typical. We'll make this nervier than it has to be. Come on, stop the shot, lads. That's it. Clear out. Get in. Much needed. Much, much needed. Fair enough, Phoebe and Chris, you were right. Goodness me. We well, definitely deserve that. Come on. I've got it right. All right, shut up, you. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't just me. PC Smug got the score right. It wasn't just me. Either way, much needed victory. Relief. At least it should be a better place this is me. On the Swansea. Get in. Uh, oh my god. I'm just trying something a little bit different. I found somewhere to actually properly form. So we'll see if this looks weird or not. But either way, I felt Sunderland definitely deserved that. Des um, much deserved stopping of the rot, I guess. Um, very much deserved win. Um, yeah, as I said in the intro, okay, fair enough. Chris Reeve and Phoebe, who I met last night. Um, yeah, you were right, okay. Um, I mean, quickly on Norwich. I mean, obviously, look, that's not a short journey for Norwich fans and with the squad they've got they really should be doing quite a bit better I think I know they're missing Josh Sargent and Ashley Barnes but still um, Chris Reeve if you're watching looking forward to the TNC podcast from a Sunderland's perspective right and bear in mind everything I'm going to say with the goals just is a consequence of just seeing them live just seeing them once without looking at replays or anything like that so I need to watch the replay and what I say here could be subject to change but the goal itself of Norwich's goal um, that Huang scored I think there was a debate about one of their players being offside one way or another in the build-up. Now, for me, there's just two points I'm going to be hypercritical of. The first one was, I think, Job, who I thought was pretty poor in the first half. But I thought he got much better as the game went on, to be fair to him. Um, he kept messing around with the ball in, in, air, in messing around the ball and holding on to it a bit too long. Now, granted, sometimes the pass wasn't on for him, but there was a couple of, there was at least three or four times in the first half when he messed around with it and lost the ball, and one of them unfortunately resulted in an orange goal. But nevertheless, you've still got time after that to do, and I'm not going to completely blame it on Bellingham. It wouldn't be fair. But, I mean, afterwards, I mean, the state of the defending just wasn't good enough. Um, and I still stand by, we need to start keeping, keeping clean sheets, but I'm not going to moan about it too much because we've won the game. Um, but I will, and bar five, but I will say this, bar five minutes after Norwich scored, I thought Sunderland were the better side by a distance. I think we, it, even as them scoring was against the run of play, they had a couple of little fl um, flurries into the box, but <sighs> Sunderland in general, I think we had a shot that went off the post. Uh, Pierre Eckwood forced the keeper into a couple of saves. We weren't in terms of clear, we weren't creating clear cut chance after clear cut chance, but we were still forcing the ascendancy a lot more, and we were still the better side. And once we got level, and I, and from the stands, it looked like Hume's goal took a deflection. But about time, we haven't got much luck in the last few games. So it's about time we do some luck. Um, from there, you could see Norwich's heads just dropped completely, and you know, one of those things is the reason that David Wagner should be under pressure, really. But regardless, I think. Norwich's heads dropped from there and Sunderland just kept getting into the ascendancy and I'm going to credit two players in particular the second goal best of the bunch <laughs> obviously the first one was the deflection one was the penalty really but the second goal da Jack Clark what a ball through to Dan Neal yes okay Norwich's defending is non-existent really but I want to praise Dan Neal in particular because he had only a couple of seconds to think about what the keeper was going to do I think the keeper reserve keeper's called long I might be wrong but anyway um, rhymes and all but he had a couple of seconds, and in that situation, it's hard to decide what you're going to do. It, and although on the flip side, if you don't think about it too much, then it's instinct. So Daniel had a little chick, um, cheeky little finish for the second one, and at that point, I thought it was no less than Sunderland, sorry, no more than Sunderland deserved. So, so regardless, I think we deserve to be in front in half time, and I think second half, bar one save that Pat, oh, I think it was Maiman Huang again, I can't remember, or. Um, one of the Norwich lads had a shot that went straight at Pato, but you could, I suppose from their perspective, they should be scoring. But crucial save nonetheless, even if the shot was straight at him, it's a crucial save because it's 2-1, anything can happen at that point. Norwich score that, it's a different game. Um, and then obviously the penalty. Have doubts whether it was a penalty, but obviously that, I'm at the other side of the stadium, so I need to look at it back. If it wasn't a penalty, then about time we get some luck with penalties, that's all I'm going to say, because we should have had a blatant spot kick at Leicester. And if it was a penalty, then good, we've actually got a decision for once. <laughs> um, and then from there, it was basically just home and hose, wasn't it? We were basically just passing it around, just doing what we needed to do, and just see out the game. And again, it was a much-deserved three points. We needed that badly after the last couple of games. And I stood by it, even in the last few defeats. Like Borough, 
sounds bitter, but I don't care. That was heavily influenced by the referee. Um, and, the, and the two games after that, one was a handball goal against Stoke. Uh, one of Stoke's first goal was a handball, but at the same time, we had enough chances to get something out of that, and we should have got something at Leicester. So... I've said all along I wasn't too concerned yet because I think we are still a good side and we, and we will get on a good run of results. Hopefully today will get us back on track ahead against Swansea in Birmingham before the November international break. Um, but yeah, deserve to, deserve, deserve to get the three points and fair play to Norwich fans, good again, it's not a short journey. But um, yeah, not much more to say than that. Deserve to win, at least we can enjoy a weekend now. And good composure from the lads to, to respond from being 1-0 down as well. Anyway guys, as you know, Nearly half the people who watch, according to me, analytics, are not subscribed. So if you're not a subscriber and you're watching and you think I've earned a sub from you, then hit the subscribe button. That'd be much appreciated because I'm trying to get a 5K. I don't really like asking, but I've got to keep pointing it out, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, safe journey to the Norwich fans. Safe journey to anyone travelling back. Thanks, thanks to Gone Northeast being on strike. Um, but there you go. And I will see you later. And if any, unless anything happens in the next week, next game video will be after Swansea. See you all later, you lovely lot. And stay and how are the lads?